So here's my unboxing of a 4432 stencil printer. Here it is, it's all wrapped in plastic. All the components were wrapped inside. Uh, so it was completely wrapped all the way around with uh, tape surrounding it. There was no damage to anything. Um, this was shipped inside the plywood box that came that my pick and place machine was in. This was just kind of placed on top of it. Here's the other side. This is the the uh, surface that you place the surf the uh, circuit board on, and it's got um, some positioning thumb wheels that will move it in X as well as in Y, so to speak, and a little bit of rotation because those it's not really fixed down to the base. It just kind of sits there and it floats. Here's everything unwrapped out of the plastic. So you have the base over there on the left. Two pieces of uh, fairly large all thread. Uh, six hex nuts. A hex key. Two two thumb screws. And a a, a uh, the mechanism up above that is the, the hinge part as well as the clamp for the stencil. And a counterweight. Here it is all assembled. So you have the hinge up on the top and then you can see that counterweight comes out in an arm and you can move the hinge uh, up and down and I really don't have any idea why they gave you you know more than a than a foot of this all thread because I don't know why you'd want to potentially place the your stencil that far off of the of the work surface. Here's the other side. There's three uh, thumb screws that clamp the stencil into the hinge, and these are all fairly loose screws. In those, those are welded nuts to the frame, and so it's all very loose. But everything was um, nothing was stripped, and everything moved pretty freely. Here's the right hand side so these are two two more thumb wheels and you can kind of see it's got one of those uh, a little flex uh, joints there at the end so this platform does move here's the left hand side and those um, uprights that are threaded those are welded to the to the base frame and it's all painted all right all the way around Here's a screw that's in the front. This isn't just uh, to hold it. This is actually a Y positioning screw. So if you turn this, it moves the platen uh, back and forward in the Y direction, so to speak. If you think about it in, in the circuit board world or in the CNC world. Here's a DHL box that I got from uh, JLC PCB. Uh, this is this, a stencil, and I ordered a stencil with a frame, and it arrived here in about a week. Here's the back side of the box. It looks like they made the box out of uh, recycled material from their manufacturing process. This, this looks like it's uh, via holes from someone else's board. Here's the top side of the stencil. It, this is what came out of the box. It um, there's protection tape across all the uh, the holes. If you look at the back side, there's a piece of foam in here to protect the um, the very thin steel template from bending during shipment. Um, this frame's very sturdy and it's been welded together as well as ground down on the corners. Here's that piece of packing foam removed. And this was um, correctly oriented. The stencil itself was correctly oriented in the frame so that it's going to be in the right position when I actually want to do the printing. And then all the uh, transitions from the frame to the stencil itself are filled with some type of uh, caulking to keep the uh, your solder from getting in between the frame and the stencil. And here it is all assembled with a circuit board in it. This is a, a board I'm making for a project 
in uh, at a museum. And here it is in the down position. So when I actually get to use this, uh, I will remove that tape and then we can actually uh, use this stencil to go ahead and apply solder paste to that circuit board before we do the pick in place. The frame had a really nice sticker on it that indicates what it is, what Gerber file actually produced it, and the date that it was uh, manufactured. And so that all comes over in the order. All right, well, let's wrap it up here. The positive features of this stencil printer, it's very sturdy. Uh, the one negative drawback is that it has no mechanism or provision for registering the, the uh, circuit boards when they go down on that surface. I will end up looking at how other stencil printers do that. Um, it may be just as simple as, you know, the simple solution is just use painter's tape to hold the board down and then uh, carefully line every board. Uh, down at the uh, prototype level, which is where I am, you know, 10 boards or less, this, that would probably be fine without going too much effort to uh, to do this operation for pick and place. All right, well, that's it for this evening. Um, thanks for watching.